This is so everybody has an AI generated bio that is automatic unless you change it. Amazing. And so this this guy's bio Bear of Elephant Falls joined Babylon B 2 years ago and has been somewhat active on the social side of the site. They have quite a, they <laughs> they Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> they no. <laughs> How did they get through? How did Babylon B allow this? <laughs> they stole your gender, bear. It's gone. Sorry, bro. This is why we don't give AI free reign. Yep. All right? Yep. It's woke. They will straight up rip your language cock off. That for last. Uh, the other thing... So the other thing that you can do with a Babylon B account that I learned, and it's not advertised anywhere. Well, now it is. It's about to be. The other thing you can do is create your own fake headlines. Like there's like a section for that. Sick. So like when you click on somebody's profile, um like what? this like this guy's for instance so i was like clicking around you know i want to want to just explore the territory I, I just paid six bucks i'm gonna try to get my money's worth um i clicked on this guy's profile pic uh this guy is called bear of elephant falls and his avatar is a furry a uh, handsome older man, but a furry, so he's an elephant. Yep, it's the first Sona. But he's got a strong chin, bushy eyebrows, little little silver gray at the temples, uh, small reading spectacles, and a sly grin under the, underneath that trunk. Uh, definitely, I'm going to go out on a limb. Definitely a gay bear, furry bear. Is yeah. This and then his cover photo has a rainbow in it, but it's like it's like a nature shot but there's a very light rainbow across it. It's like a waterfall. I think this is, he's signaling. I think he's, he's cruising. I think I he's think, cru think, yeah. cruising the Babylon B comment section. Six, six bucks. I mean, you're already probably paying for grinder, whatever, you know, you might as well check out Babylon. See what, see what, see the talent Babylon B has got to offer. You think, you think Twitter can be a dating site. Wait till you log on to Babylon B. This is so everybody has an AI generated bio that is automatic unless you change it. Amazing. And so this this guy's bio Bear of Elephant Falls joined Babylon B 2 years ago and has been somewhat active on the social side of the site. They have quite a, they <laughs> they Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> they no. How did they get through? How did Babylon B allow this? They stole your gender, bear! It's gone! Sorry, bro. This is why we don't give AI free reign. Yep. All right? Yep. It's woke! They will straight up rip your language cock off. I bet AI, I bet this bio doesn't even acknowledge his massive trunk on his face. Nope. I bet it, I bet it, uh, what do you, I bet it strips him of that too. Does it mention girth anywhere in this? Uh, wow. They have quite a few followers, which means that they are probably very interesting. While they haven't provided any biographical details, their screen name at Bear of Elephant Falls most likely has a very long and fascinating backstory. This is like snark. Yeah. This is like AI like snark. That. So Grok like probably did this, or Gronk, whatever, it did, probably did this. Uh, it's also obvious from their avatar image that they enjoy customizing their profile and most likely have a strong opinion about whether pineapple belongs on pizza. Uh, <laughs> got you. Is, got so, you, Tony. So funny. You probably do have an opinion about pineapple on pizza, you That's basic so you basic ass bitch. I love I love how it's it's not it's not that it's a fursona elephant fursona of Bear of Elephant Falls. 
It's just that they uploaded a picture. Right. That's like one of the one of the toggles that flips when AI says your bio. It it switches on the uh yeah, whatever. Like there's no mention of elephants even in this. Cuz I don't think they can tell that bear of, of elephant falls is is four words. It's they don't realize the word elephants even. No, no, no. It's not it's not words. that it's not to that level at all. It's only no. just like whether you have an avatar whether you have a bio and like how active you are on the site. That's all. That's the only details that I've seen in these. And then the, bios. that last part, they just interchange pineapple on pizza with type of cheese or something like that. Right. Or it's like this user will probably get into a three hour argument over whether Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Yep. Yep. Exactly. Wow, they sound opinionated and quirky as hell. I love it. I love it. I'm sign me up. Sign me up, Bear Elephant Falls. I want everything to do with you, bud. <laughs> Look at this silver elephant fox. It's <laughs> so funny. The chin, chin the chin is incredible. The jawline and the chin is elephant. crazy. Yeah. Sexy ass old elephant. Like, I need to know what this guy really looks like. Um, if this segment makes it onto our YouTube, you 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 can see this. I'll I'll make this the the image for yeah. the, for the episode uh, yeah. if, just in case this doesn't make it onto the YouTube but you can see YouTube clips over at youtube.com slash minion death cult go over there and subscribe like etc where you can see all the spicy elephant personas uh, these are these are bear of elephant falls I, the fucking made up headlines the user generated headlines so bad like not even most of them really not even worth making fun of. What, what do you mean by user generated headlines? Do you mean they just put what you write in quotes in a bold font? It's like a separate section of the website. It's like uh, it's like part of your profile or something like that. Like I don't let me see if I can figure out how I would do it <laughs> under my profile because when you go when you click on Bear of Elephant Falls like underneath this bio. It'll have his rankings, like his Reddit score, basically his Reddit yeah, score and yeah. shit like that, like like all the points he has or whatever. And then under that, it'll say headlines. And it's like headlines that this guy came up with in some section of the website. You know what I mean? So like if I go to I'm on the sidebar here, my profile. See if I can do that. This. I mean, because you're built for this. You're built to, to make headlines. See, it says under my profile, John Hinckley Jr., that there are no headlines to show. So I don't, I don't know how I would do that, Tony. I'm so sorry. I'm really disappointed. But really it's under like a category. Headlines. Like you can scroll, you can see all their comments, you can see all their mentions, and you can see all their headlines. So these are these are Bear of Elephant Falls headlines. Uh, two months ago, Donald Trump enters chamber to Stone Cold's music, slams two beers, and claims Speaker of the House title. Uh huh. Okay, that's good. So like, okay, so this is like that. It, it it is okay. I get it now. It's the language and the formatting and the way it's expressed that makes it a headline. Because this isn't just like a post or a tweet. It is like a headline. Right, it's it's a post in the form of a headline, and it, yeah. for some reason you get to just do these on your own this stream. Is great stuff. Because it's like it's like trying to be social media too. So like, maybe instead of tweeting, it's headlines, and you only post headlines or something like that. Because these all have comments, and you know, it's a handful of likes on it. Um, so it is, it is, it's like Twitter from whatever eight years ago, where yeah. you would just like do your own onion headline. Oh, you know what? Maybe you have to text this in. Maybe you have to text in your your headline. That's how you get it on there. I'll look into it. Um, but yeah, so we have an epic, epic Donald Trump. Uh, so yeah, it 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 is like a, a Donald Trump is epic joke from six years ago in the form of a Twitter fake onion headline from eight mm -hmm. years ago. And it's about how cool Donald Trump is and how he probably drinks a whole heck of a lot of beer. Um, and he probably fucking shotguns that shit. Do you think he just sips beer? No. No, I think he just he he just he doesn't even drink. He just pours it on his own face. 
I think he might he might do that. Um, the other headline bearer of Elephant Falls wrote two months ago, quote, suicidal Jews for Palestine cancel rally after low turnout expected. I, I get what you're trying to do here, but like that's the second part. You're, you're doing too much. When you're doing the suicide use for Palestine, that's like one thing you're trying to do. That's one joke, quote joke you're trying to make here. And I get why you're doing that. It sucks. It's a bad joke. But then to do the second part where you're like, not enough people showed up. Yeah, it's probably because they had a bad name for their rally. Yeah. It's probably because yeah. it sounds like a right winger wrote, like organized the rally. It sounds like a fucking trap is what it sounds like. Maybe that's why. Uh, here's some other headlines that were all right. Um, yeah, this, okay. So this guy, like I, I, this one got a chuckle out. Caveman says stranded Canadian electric vehicle owners regret that they have, but one life to give for our beloved Gaia. That's great. I was like, yeah, that's fine. That's great. Whatever. I like that. Yeah, sure. It's over, over sensationalizing, uh, what an electric vehicle can actually do for the Mm -hmm. environment. You know, it's funny to imagine a guy lying down in the snow, like voluntarily to die for Gaia. Uh, it's got good stuff. And I was like, oh, maybe this guy's funny. And then just like the very next one from Caveman is uh, upon release from hospital, defense secretary, now Lloydella Austin, pronouns stunning slash brave. Okay. Lloydella is the joke they came, is the name they came up with? Yeah, instead of Lloyd Austin, it's Lloydella Austin. That is now. how it works, by the way. If you do, if you if you do decide to transition, you have to just either feminize or masculinize your name. But you still have tons of options because you he could have gone with Lloydette. You know, you go the Smurf route, and that's still feminine. You know, or Lloyd mm-hmm. Lloydina. No, you like you you would be Al Alex Sella, Alexella, Alexella. Yeah, but I, I I contend I could also be Alexina. You can add a woman, a female, any kind of the female yeah. suffixes. Like to... I would be like Tony Beth. Beth. <laughs> Tony Beth. Ta- Tanya Beth. <laughs> I like Tony Beth. <laughs> Tony Beth. Like Elizabeth, but Tony Beth. Yeah. Yeah. That's how that works. You have that's how you have to do it. <laughs> Tony Beth Boswell. That's got a ring to it. And you would for sure pick a beautiful name like Lloyd Della. But, um, yeah, so uh, Lloyd Austin was in the hospital. That's actually like when we were, uh, what was it, order, ordering strikes on Lebanon? Yeah. Or the, or the Houthis uh, was, yeah, while Lloyd, Lloyd Della Austin was in the hospital. Uh, so I guess he was in there getting a sex change. That's that's, that's not the joke. That's a, get it? Do you uh, get it? But then there's the second half. He his pronouns now are stunning slash brave, and he used the the weird slash the other slash. Yeah, very rare. Uh, it, do you think that they're just like a design head, and it's because of the way that it lays across the G as opposed to the B, and there's really that that meant a lot to them. I I, res- it, I respect that. I think it does look better than the alternative. Probably. It does. It looks great. Um, but like you're do the stunning brave joke. You, f- I don't know. You kind of fucked it up, dude. This is like this is such a mess. You made the stunning brave joke the pronouns joke. Yeah, you're, that's you're, two different jokes. It's two different jokes. You're f- all fucking confused, and I can understand why. This is a lot of heady stuff with a lot of layers. Did uh, uh, Ali Beth Stucky was one of my favorite Twitter responses. Um. Ali Beth Stuckey, who's like a right wing trad, trad Christian influencer or whatever. Um, she reacted to this post on Twitter, Babylon B's post. That's such a good name, by the way. Ali Beth Stuckey. Yeah, see, she did it. She did it the right way. Yeah. She feminized it. Yeah. Um,. Ali Beth Stuckey was like, so the joke was Vivek's going to run to 7-Eleven. Uh, her joke was like, this joke has so, or her response was, this joke has so many layers. The onion could never. 
Yep, yep, yep. Get it? Do you get it? I mean, I get, get the, it I get the onion part of it. I don't know if this joke has layers yeah, to it. Yeah, does it have many more layers besides <laughs> the one racist one? That's it. I think it's just that he's Indian. I yeah, that's, that's the, the only one, joke here. <laughs> the one layer to the joke. Like, <laughs> so many layers. 